Okay, we're cruising along the Portuguese coast on this island packet 45, which is called Onward. And in a moment, I'm going to demonstrate for you how to put a Turk's head on this wheel of the yacht while we're actually moving along. Now, as you can see, the wheel is moving because we're actually on autopilot. This is going to make the task a little bit more difficult because I'm going to have to work very hard with the wheel moving. Okay, so hope you're paying attention. Okay, so here we go. Here's the wheel. As you can see, it's moving. What I've got to do is, having started this Turk set, with it jogging about, I've got to feed, it's basically a plat, put around a round object. Having established the plat around the wheel, I've got to feed this through until we have three strands of three. And as we can see, it's jammed itself there. It's jammed itself, but I'm getting a little, getting a bit closer now with this. I think we're running out of wind, which is why we've got the noise of the mainsail slatting about, which is going to interfere with the sound. Oh, shite. Needless to say, it is easier to do this on a yacht that isn't moving, okay? So if you've got a chance, don't, I recommend children, don't do this at home unless your daddy is saying it's okay for you to do it. Okay, but as you can see, we're gradually building up, cocking up here, because I've got three there. I think I've gone off here a little. I think we're just cut at that point. Okay, well I, I got that sorted. Uh, I'm actually holding the camera in my teeth here, so I'm adding this narr narration. Uh, as you can see, uh, what I'm doing here is rotating this plat as we're going along, and I'm uh, feeding the line through so that eventually I'm going to end up with three strands of three bits of string around there. So it's going to look really neat. Not easy to see as the thing's moving around, but you've got to lift it up and you've got to tuck it under. I think it might become a bit clearer as we get to the end there. Oh no, a bit of camera wobble there. Oop. Anyhow, as you can see, we're gradually building up first two strands of three around the plat, and then it's going to be three strands of three. Okay, I'll come back to you in a second. Okay, so here's our finished Turk's head. As you can see, we've got some long dangly bits coming down of it. What we gotta do with these is uh, we gotta get a hot knife, cut them off, and just tuck that end in underneath here so it's out of sight. Likewise, with this one here, we just tuck it in. So we've got three lots of three strands of three around this uh, wheel here. So, uh, like I say, this is much easier to do if you're doing it on a boat where the wheel is not moving. So, I do recommend, if you get a chance, just do this in comfort at home, set in your nice berth there in Florida or someplace like that, as opposed to cruising along here on the uh, Portuguese coast, okay? So, uh, anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed the uh, instructional uh, video. Uh, Keep tuned for more fantastic tune in learning knots with Captain Bob videos. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Okay, now it was, it was pretty hard on the yacht to actually uh, show you how you really start the Turk's head for obvious reasons because the uh, yacht was moving around. So now I'm back in my lounge here in uh, downtown uh, Missouri. No, somewhere, I don't know where it is, but someplace. And, um, here we go, what do we have to do? Like, you can't see it on the yacht, but you, you start this, it's gonna be a, a plat that ro rolls around a round object. So you gotta start with a couple of bits like that, bring the third one up. Now you gotta actually make this into a plat. So you've got to tuck that bit under there like that, tuck that one under there like that, roll it around a little, tuck that one under there like that. 
tuck that one under there like that. You getting the idea here? Keep rolling it around. Now this is exactly what I did on the wheel of the yacht. But of course you wouldn't have seen it because it was shifting all over the place there. Okay, so round like that. One more under there. And I don't know whether you can see this, but what we got here is a round plat. Okay, so that is what it is. So wasn't very clear on there, but what you got to do from there is you take this end, take the long end, and you just keep on going around like that. Okay. And eventually you end up with these three strands and three strands and three strands. But obviously this is just a little piece of demo string here. It's not long enough to go around nine times effectively. Hope that makes it a bit clearer for you. Okay. Bye for now. Uh, sorry about the fairly American accent. Uh, my proper voice sounds <laughs> rather more like Prince Charles or James Bond, even, a money penny. No, don't. What are you talking about, geezer? You sound more like a geezer, London boy, eh? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, say no more. Apples and pears. <laughs>